Mm. Of course, uh, the money, man. Uh, who wants to attend this interview? Just so I can. Yes. So it's the request of my name. Mm-hmm. Yes. What did you do? You wrote an attestation. Okay. So you uh one officer. Um so let's debate this. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I wrote an attestation for my own party uh, at the request of his elder brother, uh, Samu Fati. <coughs> uh, of Lower Flood West constituency. Okay. Mr. Bayer, uh, just for peace. Control of Olsen Abu Dhabi. So what happened was this. When Sambu prepared his document, I'm going with him to sign the document. I go through the document. I feel that it's very dangerous document. Uh, but there is a picture that the brother wants to travel. He is somebody who is very poor. He hasn't got any other means. So he prepared this one so that the child can travel. You know, I said, well, you know what you are stated in this document is not true. All is politics. So I'm just helping him, but he was very careful because he said, hey, look at it. When he's seen by all this, he'll be apprehended. No doubt about that. Because all what you are saying here is lies. There is no grand truth out of it. So, in this case, it's a dangerous thing. And I told him that the, old, uh, the president of this country is a very good man. He is not harassing anybody in this country. He is somebody who is peaceful. He is out to help any country who is loyal to him. So, he was very careful in handling his documents. This is why I told him, then, by him, then I stand up and and go with him. He didn't pay me a bullet. The bullet he doesn't pay me. He said it's not something to inspire. I know the president is a good man. He has sympathy for people. He is somebody who is out to help everybody in this country. So if you are trying to bring some team, it means it's the wrong information you are giving the outside world. And that could be detrimental. That could be disoriented to the country. But as we are going to know that, well, this man, this young man is your brother and you are poor, you are my neighbor also, I know your situation. That's why I'm involving myself in it. But this, I don't want to do it for anybody. And I will not do it for anybody other than you because of you are neighbors. But this man is a nice, the old man and the president is a nice man. He has no problem, he's not showing anybody. And the content is all fanatics, it's all lies. You see. So that's how the situation goes. The paper was this boy was arrested, tortured by the security agent. So he he fears his life and he wants to travel out of the country. It's what I glanced in the paper. But mistakenly I did it, of course I stand with the government. You have to be quite sincere with anybody. But because I sympathize the situation, this, this is what was reason. It's wrong. That's what I at first advised him. I told him that this is wrong. I'm just helping because 
You are renewable and I know for your situation in the compound. In your compound. But then you must be careful with this type of documents. I don't want to involve myself in this sort of activities. President is a nice man, he is out to help any gambling. He has no problem, he is not giving anybody a problem in this country, neither the Tojo or the security services. They are friendly, they have no problem, unless it offended the law. But there is no security service that you can say is treating people around this end. Not the immigration, not the intelligence, not the police, and not the army. So, but if you are trying to bring up these ideas, I'm afraid if you are caught, it was going to be a big problem for you. No, no, I, this is my first time. No, 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 I say, I have never stamped this type of form. He was the one who is a neighbor to me, that compels me. But if you come with me, I, I would not agree. It's just a neighbor to me. See, we are not very far from each other. I know his situation also. I have never, I have never, 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 never in my life stand for anybody so far as I know. Because it's something that is trying to destroy the image of the country. And I shouldn't allow that. As a good citizen of this country, I shouldn't allow that. But this was a mistake. Only because of the sympathy I had on him and the brother. I regret about it, of course. I regret. Indeed, I regret it. Because I am a lovely somebody. An old man now. I'm thinking of when should I die. 67 years old. I have worked in the civil service and retired. See? I regret it. To be quite sincere, I regret it. I regret in doing so. And I'm giving a full, I'm asking for a forgive and a pardon in regard to the situation. From the president, our, our, our supreme leader. I am asking a pardon from our supreme leader, the president of the Republic of the Gambia, Dr. Uh, Dr. Yami. Amadou, I don't, I know him just casually. I know him casually because I don't have much interaction with him. I know him casually, I, but I know that some better than I love.